Hey gang, Roy Free Sr. back. Today I want to ask the question, can we live forever? Now you've seen uh, quite a few influencers out there like this gentleman uh, asking the question, uh, can you live longer? Can you live healthier? And the answer to that is, yeah, you can definitely help yourself out um, by taking the proper su supplements, eating better. Uh, here's Mr. Brian Johnson. He's a, a millionaire. He's got a YouTube channel. He goes to great lengths and wakes up early in the morning, exercises every day. This book has been around for years, talking about life extension. I think Dirk Pearson and Sandy Shaw turned out to be shysters. Anywho, the concept has, is not a new one, and it's been around for a long time. And I don't suggest that there's anything wrong with trying to live certainly a healthier life. Um, and exercise is a good thing. And even the Bible says bodily exercise <coughs> is a good thing, but you have to have godliness along with it. These gentlemen, Anthony Clark, Lee Haney, <coughs> as strong as they were, Lee still is, and this gentleman, um, Paul Anderson, Paul Wren was the picture before him. This guy that we we had videos on all these folks, and they're all Christians, uh, bodybuilders, lifters, power lifters. But the important thing that they found out is that serving God is the best way to go. And even Hulk Hogan, you know, he's wearing John Free sixteen shirts, talking about God. Kevin Lavroni, bodybuilder, talks about the importance of God. Bob Zuber, his mission at Zuber's gym <clears throat> was to bring people to Christ and expose people to the Bible and the truths of it. Um, no matter how physically fit we get for this world, um, and here's again, do you not know your body is a temple of the spirit? So, which means what? You shouldn't be abusing your body with drugs, alcohol, uh, steroids in excess. And thank God, Jesus Christ died on our behalf, was tortured, suffered a horrible death. And because of his death, we can all have eternal life with him. Here's the verse. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth Jesus, and shalt believe in his heart that God raised him from the dead, Thou shalt be saved. Of course, we have John 3.16 and all these other verses. Jesus was the first to be raised from the dead, which happened three days after his crucifixion. And because of that, we can all be raised from the dead, and we will be in the last days. Uh, but again, the question is, will you be raised with Jesus Christ and go with God? And you don't, you know, if you choose not to, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't care how physically fit you are, whether you're 10 years old or 90 years old. Your life is a vapor. In this world, you know, you might live 70 years, 100 years is a really long time. In terms of reality, it's a vapor, as that verse suggests. And you don't know, you could have a heart attack, you could be in a car accident. Um... And if you're not with Jesus, the alternative is not good. And I'm sure none of us want that for ourselves. And again, it doesn't matter how physically fit you are, what you look like on the outside, if your soul's not in the right place. Now those of us who are with Jesus will be raised with a brand new body. And I'm sure will we have wings, who knows? Uh, what our bodies exactly are going to look like, it's hard to say, but they're going to be perfect. There's going to be no more disease, no more sin, and it's going to be an awesome thing.